Okay. What's up guys, DWeezy here, and today we are back with another video, this time in the new Pokemon app, Pokemon Go. If you don't know what this is, it is a kind of a GPS uh, based game by the Antic and the Pokemon Company, uh, where you basically walk around and catch Pokemon in real life. Um, this is probably the closest thing you're going to get to real life Pokemon, um, but I've had a lot of people asking me here recently. Um, how do you use the incense and how does the game work? So pretty much the game works by walking around, doing whatever and whatever, I mean going places and doing whatever you can to catch Pokemon. Um, I did use an incense and it's right here. Um, you can see it up in the top right hand corner. Um, I have 20 minutes and 50 seconds left. Now to use an incense, all you have to do is go to items and they'll show up right under the revive here um, you can buy them from the shop or get them by leveling up um, this is my last one or I would use another one um, to show you guys but we will go outside and walk around the block and see if we can't get a few Pokemon out of it um, but first before we walk around the block I'm gonna show you guys my Pokedex and the Pokemon that I call using these incense um, just today I caught an Oddish I caught a Ponyta, a Magnemite, a Shelter, a Crab, Krabby, a Voltorb, an Execute, a Coughing, and a Magikarp. Just using these, just using this incense. Uh, now the other stuff is stuff that I caught around my house. Just pretty much walking around the house. Uh, I did go down to the beach a little bit, but I mean it wasn't it wasn't really that. I, I, let's see exactly how much I've walked using this app um, over the past couple of days, really. Um, I do have nine eggs. I've walked a total of 5.7 kilometers. I mean, not terribly much. I mean, that's, I mean, a few miles, but I mean, you're going to walk miles every day. If you walk with your phone out, you're going to have, you know, you're going to have some stuff show up and you're going to be walking and you're going to be doing stuff in the daily life. But we're going to go outside right now and see if we can't get something by walking around the block. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I do apologize about that. Um, I am using my grandmother's phone because I cannot screen capture on an iPhone, but um, should be good now. I'm trying to get the game to load up now, and I'm going to continue to walk around the walk around and try to go to the Poke Stop by my house um, to be able to catch more Pokemon and ultimately get more items. Now, if you don't know what a Poke Stop is, it is kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a Pokemart where you get free items. Um, all you gotta do is go up to them, spin the sign, and it'll just pop out items. You just pop the bubbles, and there they are. It's pretty simple, pretty uh, self-explanatory. I think it tells you that inside the app. But I'm just gonna show you guys how it works, just in case you don't understand it. Um, now. Uh, I did catch a Pidgey while ago. I um, would love to catch some rarer type Pokemon. I was talking about the Ponyta that I caught earlier, and it, it, it was pretty cool. Um, let's see. I don't want to be connected to Wi Fi. Alright, guys, sorry about that. I had to uh, disconnect from the Wi Fi because it wanted to connect and I don't want it to. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can't find some Pokemon. Uh, come on. Something show up. we got 13 minutes left. Uh, just going to keep walking, I guess. Be back in a minute. Alright guys, so I am here at the Poke Stop, and I do have a Pidgey around me. But the game looks to be... Take a second. Alright, we're going to catch the Pidgey before go to the Pokestop stop and the Pidgey is just chilling right there. Let's see if I can get him. Alright. Let's see if I can get some shakes. One, two, three. Alright, so we got a Pidgey. Alright, so uh, we close up with two Pidgeys with this incense and it's kind of been not the best one, but I mean it happens. 
But um, so this is this is a pokey stop. Literally, all you do is spin a sign, and uh, you get some pretty cool stuff out of it. I got three pokeballs, which normally, um, if you don't have pokey stops around you, and you run out of pokeballs, and you find some cool Pokemon, you're gonna have to buy, buy some pokeballs because that is one of the things that you can buy, and it's gonna suck. So I would suggest going to the poke stop and just getting some Pokeballs because if you do, that's going to be the best way to get them. Um, now, um, another thing is the gyms. I think I've touched on it before. Once you get to level 5, you'll be able to go to the gym. And you'll be able to uh, challenge and train the gym and you'll get to pick your own team. If you do, if your team owns the gym, you can drop off a Pokemon and let your let your pokemon just train at the gym and help protect the gym from uh, outside trainers now that being said um another thing that you can do if you want to raise some raise some uh candy for a specific pokemon and you have multiple ones of them you can transfer your pokemon back to professor willow and uh you'll actually get one Pokemon candy for whatever Pokemon you transfer back to him and it, it'll be pretty simple uh, it's pretty simple to do all you do is just let's see, let's see if I can do it the other Pokemon um, we just caught this level 26 Pidgey here but I have a ton of Pidgeys so what I'm gonna do is scroll down to the bottom if it'll ever scroll down keep scrolling down all right, and just literally mass transfer and yes. And it should pop up, transfer success, got a Pidgey Candy from the transfer. And that is all you have to do. Uh, I did get a little vibration there. Should be a Pokemon around me somewhere, but I don't see it. But that is a gem right there um, with the Pidgey Hot, looks like flying around. And I am on Team Mystic. I picked Team Mystic, there's three different teams. And you get to pick yourself a team and join and battle gyms and catch Pokemon in real life. I mean, how cool is that? And that's pretty much how you use an incense. Uh, Pokemon just come straight to you, and you can go to the Poke Stop, get you some more Pokeballs, and do whatever you feel like doing. But that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like down below. I will be doing more videos in Pokemon Go eventually. Sorry for the surrounding noise. Hope you did enjoy if you did leave a like down below and let me know that you like this video and also subscribe to see more videos like this one but for now guys i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here d weezy out